Claremont Football Club to me is is home. It's somewhere that I've grown up. It's the place that I've made some of my best and oldest friends. It's somewhere where I walk into and I feel comfortable and I know the type of people and the type of characters that we have here. Coming through the ranks, uh, played all my development down at Claremont and then was lucky enough to get invited down to play Colts when I was 16. So I was pretty lucky to play in two premierships with Claremont so far, 2011-2012. 2011 was uh, one of relief and something that we'd been building up to for so long. In 2012, from a personal point of view, it was one of the best years I think I could have ever had. I was 21 at the time and yeah, to win the Sandover was just a surreal moment. It was an out of body experience and I still pinch myself when we get to go along each year and I get to walk up on that stage. First hands to it, Mitchell found a way through. Mitchell really getting to work now. Lowers the eyes, gives it to Mitchell and he can't miss that. Before I even got drafted, Ken Hinkley actually called me on the phone and I just picked up and it was around and I was like, hello, he's like, hi Kane, it's Ken from the Port Adelaide Football Club. Congratulations, we're about to take you with the next pick. And I was like, hung up the phone, looked at mum, looked at Nan, looked at dad and I was like, I think Ken Hinkley just said I'm getting drafted to Port Adelaide and then, yeah, there it was. I think it was pick five, Port Adelaide, Kane Mitchell, and it was a kind of dream realised. Five out in front of Mitchell, his first touch. And that's what the sub should do. The super sub, get involved and kick a goal. And then celebrate hard. It was very special to come back to a club that had given me so much and I just wanted to give back to them. Last year to be named co-captain with one of my best friends in the world, Ian Richardson, was one of the proudest moments in my life. This year to be by myself, I've got a great leadership group around me. I spoke to the boys before the game on the weekend. I just told them how proud I was to be able to lead them out and how much enjoyment and how much passion I feel for each and every one of them. With the support of Kia, we were able to play in our annual state game against South Australia. It's been a tradition that we've been building over the last few years. It's something that we want to continue, and I know I do and many others take so much pride in representing our state, and I can't wait to hopefully pull on the jersey again. I just love this place. It owes me nothing, and I owe it everything, and hopefully this year or next year or whenever it is, I want to repay them with as many premierships as I can, as many wins as we can, and yeah, I'm hoping it's this year. I don't have to wait too much longer.